Hi everyone, this is my November 2016 TBR video. Um, this month I'm gonna try to read five books and maybe some more if I get the chance to do that. So the first uh, three books are on my Kindle and I got them all from NetGalley and they've been on there for so long that my rating is terrible because I haven't been reading and reviewing books which is basically the whole point of NetGalley. So I figured it was about time that I finally caught up with it and read a couple more books that um, I could bring up my rating and hopefully get more books in the future. So um, the first book is called Behold the Dreamers and I've heard good things about this one. Um, and actually, Michelle from Mishmash has read this book and said that it was a pretty good read, so I usually agree with her opinions, so I'm looking forward to reading that one. It's about um, a family who move that moves from Cameroon, and they move to New York City, and they settle in Harlem, and they're looking for, um, for work, and then the father ends up getting a job as a chauffeur, and the mother ends up being like a babysitter for this um, high-profile family. Um, and like the father in the high profile family works for Lehman Brothers um, and this is like before the financial collapse so um, they're very well off, they have a house in the Hamptons and um, this immigrant family is like hel really helping them out but after the after the crash and you know the collapse of the Lehman Brothers this family is experiencing a lot of troubles so the immigrant family who's been working for them is also sort of experiencing um, like a trickle down effect from it. So I'm just really curious to see like what the big twist is and how the story goes and how it ends. I don't really know what to expect right now but I think it should be a pretty good read at the very least so that seems very promising. The second book is Imagine Me Gone by Adam Haslett and I haven't heard much about this book from anybody actually but I, I don't know I feel like I've seen it around I just haven't heard much and from what I've gathered it's about a woman who decides to marry a man um, who is really depressed and she decides to go through with the wedding anyways but then the story focuses on their children and um, I don't know they all have their sorts of problems and things and I don't know it's just I guess it's about their family for the most part so while I'm not like super super um, excited about this book I think it should be a pretty decent read and at least I just want to read it and get it out of the way and see what it's about and what happens and all of that. So if you read Imagine Me Gone, please let me know. I would love to hear um, more about it and hopefully like sort of be better prepared for when I finally pick it up. The last um, NetGalley book that I'm looking to read is The Results May Vary by Bethany Chase. And this book is about a woman who is married and one day she finds out that her husband has been carrying on an affair with another man, which really shocks her because that's not something that she was aware of was happening and obviously she just didn't think that her husband was into men and as she discovers this and sort of start, sort of starts learning more and more about this things that he's been hiding from her she starts to question their whole relationship they were high school sweethearts they've known each other such a long time and she just couldn't imagine there could be this whole other side to a, a person who she thought she knew really well I think it's interesting just to see how that whole thing plays out and how like what the conclusion of that will be so I'm very curious to sort of learn more about that um, if you read it please let me know if it's a good or a bad read the next book is Three Stages of Amazement and I haven't heard or seen anyone talk about this book before um, but I just recently picked it up at a bookstore because the cover caught my eye and it sounded pretty interesting I guess it's about this couple who live in uh, San Francisco and they live in like a little cottage but in an area where they're really close to really rich um, neighborhoods and really fabulous houses and they're feeling a lot of pressure because they feel like they haven't really achieved all that they've wanted to achieve and now they're sort of like in the middle age like I don't know 30s 40s and they um, haven't got to where they thought they would be at that time so they're not you know they're not their jobs aren't as fabulous, their lifestyle isn't as fabulous, and at this point in their life they're not really where they would like to be. Um, and the wife, I guess, has like um, some wealthy relatives um, who they haven't really kept in touch with, but who have some problems come up and then they end up sort of reconnecting, is what it sounds like. So I think 
it could be either a good or a bad book. I haven't really looked into it to see any kinds of reviews, so I think it's kind of good to just go into it without really expecting anything, and it sounds like it could be promising, um, so I'm, I'm hoping for the best with this one. The last book that I'm going to read and I'm super excited for is Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. Um, this will be a perfect read for November because I've actually, last November I went to Savannah and I absolutely loved it. So I'm really excited to read this book. And this is also a nonfiction, which, you know, I haven't been reading a lot of nonfiction. Um, so this is a nice change for me. And this is based on like a true crime story and it has a lot of eccentric characters and I mean it's a nonfiction so it's like the real deal it's about real people who lived in Savannah and I don't know I just think sort of watching uh, reading it all and sort of reliving all that and um, going back to some familiar places will be really nice I don't really know like what kind of crime this is and um, how it's gonna go there is a movie actually uh, with the same name and it's filmed in Savannah and everything so I've watched like parts of it, not the whole thing, so I I don't really know what happened still, so this will be nice for the book, but um, the movie seemed like it was pretty good. It has some decent characters, uh, d decent actors in it, surprisingly, so um, I think after I, watch, after I read this book I will definitely give the movie a watch as well, uh, and I think it'll be a really good read, so. I'm really excited about that. So that's it for my November 2016 TBR. Please let me know if you've read any of these books and also what books you're looking to read in the month of November. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.